Hey everybody, it's Roby here with another Divi Engine quick tip for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at our Divi Ajax filter plugin, which allows you to do some pretty incredible things. But what we'll be teaching you today is how to take a super crazy no, long God, select box please, like this no. and turning it into something a little bit more manageable that you can search through. Like let's say I type in Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. I don't know. Anyway, so that's how you can improve long select dropdowns. And Divi Ajax Filter has the Select 2 feature built right into it. So let's go take a look on how to do that right now. Okay, guys. So now you can see here I've got this Filter Posts page where you can go ahead and filter your blog posts. And you see the nifty new feature that we included here with Divi Ajax Filter, where you can actually go ahead and select some predefined custom loops for your site. So that gets you a nice quick start with Divi Ajax Filter. But what I want to show you here is we're filtering here by category. We've got a search box, but here we've got tags. Now this is not the longest list of tags on earth, but wouldn't it be nice if you could search through the tags instead of clicking the drop down? So let's take a look on how to do that right now. Okay, so here I'm on the back end of this page and I am going to open up my filter settings here and I am First things first, gonna enable select two for specific select options. Easy enough, right? So you flip that one on and then you need to go to the field where you want the select two to be active. I'm gonna open my tags here. Now we can see that we've got the select folder selected here and I'm just gonna come down here to select and you can see here that I've got my select two enabled. It does remind you to go enable it on the actual folder. If yours is not on here, make sure that it is. And if it's not on the filter yet, make sure that it's enabled there. Now you can add some, any type of placeholder text you want. And I'm just going to put search tags. That's the easier way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save that. And now what I'll do is I'll save my page and I'll hop on the front end of my site and let's see if this works. Now, if we come over here to tags, I can start typing plugins, plugins, and it filters those results when I click it adds my tags up there, and I've only got the plugin related posts here. It's yes, super science. easy to do. Select is a great feature. Now, if you don't have the huh? Ajax filter yet, what are you waiting for? Go pick it up because there'll be a link in the description right where you can save some dollars on getting the Ajax filter. Now, also don't forget the Ajax filter is included in the machine and the body commerce. So of course, this filter method with select who will work in both those plugins also. So why don't you just get the Divi Engine membership, man? Save some money. Anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe and like the channel and the video and all that fun stuff because you don't want to miss out on how to utilize these tools and get the most out of your investment into your Divi Engine plugins. So guys, that's going to be it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. It's been a pleasure and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.